Hi guys, today I'm gonna be show you, showing you how to flash your has burner so you can burn 100% XGD3 games for Xbox 360 so I just bought this on Amazon this is the model as you can see I has 42498B so I'm gonna show you first how to connect it where are the things that you need and then how to flash it so the first thing you need is a SATA cable no SATA cable or whatever that is this one you need also the power cable that is this one let me just place this and if you are using a laptop that's my case I'm using a laptop you need a way to connect the SATA cable into this cable and then into the laptop so as you can see the only thing you do is connect this part to the SATA right there and then you connect this into the iHas drive bam and of course it's ready and then you connect this part into the laptop then the next thing you, you need is the Molex adapter for the power so let me just connect this real quick okay so it's there so you need as I said the Molex adapter so it's not so expensive here it is it is a pretty long pretty long cable so this part obviously goes to the wall this is the adapter and the only thing you need to do is connect the power to the Molex I bought the SATA cable the SATA to USB the Molex adapter and the power cable just in Amazon for 15 bucks so I will leave a, a link in the description for the iHas drive and for all the, the cables that you need so I'll see you in my laptop Okay guys, we are back, so now everything is connected. Just for the record, when you buy this, it's also going to come with a larger SATA cable. I just forgot to mention that. Uh, so everything is connected right there into my laptop. So the first thing that you need to do to flash your burner is to go to this program, Extreme Burner Max, and select your firmware or your your burner so mine is 4 to 4 b so I'm gonna click in here what you're gonna do is place click in this that X so here's you gonna put yes it's gonna pop out this you're gonna put in yes and you're gonna update I am not gonna update because mine is already updated but you will have to update now you will go to EEPROM utility you make sure that your drive is selected so you're gonna put backup EEPROM and you will need to to save it so save it in a folder I am not doing this process because I already did all this. When you finish this, you're gonna go to Flash Utility. Make sure always that your drive is selected. You're gonna go to Read Flash. And you also wanna, wanna save this in the same folder that you, that you saved the EEPROM utility. So I am not doing this because I already did all this, so I'm gonna put cancel. After you do this process of reading the flash, you're just simply put grade the flash, yes, and you go into your, you go to the program to the Extreme Burner Max. So you go again, you search for Extreme Burner, you go to your drive 424B and you 
just clicking here and it's gonna start flashing your drive I am not doing this because I already did all this and that's it in the next video I will show you the best settings for burning with image burn the XGD3 games thank you hope you like it hi guys I'm back I just forgot to tell you that the way that you could know if your flash went, went ok is just inserting a double layer disk into your drive and here we're going to go to here and here you're just gonna wait a little bit and it should say when the disk is empty it should say this 8.13 gigabytes that's when you know that the flash is being correct see you later